Let's go! Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today I'll show you how to draw like chili! No nonsense! Well, maybe a little bit of nonsense, but not much nonsense guide tutorial to how to draw like Jim Lee. But first, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And make sure to watch the whole videos to get all the tips I give you here. But now, let's draw. When you want to manage to draw like your favorite comic book artist, you need to start with gesture drawings. These are the foundation of every comic book character. Here I show you how I do these in my style. When doing gesture drawings, don't forget to keep your pencil loose in your hand and focus on the basics. Details are not important right now. Okay, so now we have a gesture drawing, but that's one of mine. We want to figure out how Jim Lee does them. And for that I will use a really cool book I got from Jim Lee. And we will use a transparent piece of paper. Now we will search for a decent pose in this book. Perfect. Take the paper. And now we will try to find the gesture drawing in this drawing. Rib cage. Shoulder, the arm, the other arm, and you can do this with every artist. So you can get the feel of how he's doing it. I don't want you to trace stuff, that's just the most easy way to find out how they work. Now we can see properly how Jim Lee builds his characters. His poses are very dynamic, even when they are standing still. Mesomorph body types, which means quite bulky and muscular. Massive chests, and his heroes are always looking very heroic. And that's mostly the case because he likes to view his characters from a slightly lower angle. Like in this drawing, or in those, you can see the hero mostly stands above you. Or flies. Also to be seen here, so keep that in mind. Okay, so what we have to do now is to practice those gesture drawings. Now I have done this gesture drawing and when I compare it with the one I traced from Jim Lee, I can see this one looks way more dynamic. And I think the biggest reason what I've done wrong with this one is when you look at the shoulder, it's way, way more far apart, so I need to change that. Let's try this out. Okay, I guess that's more like it. But now we need to put some muscles on there. And we are getting closer, guys. This way you can see how you should put your muscles on your own gesture drawing. That's a very important step. And here you can see Jim Lee always makes very thick necks and a very massive bicep. What he doesn't do are six packs. N not really. Mostly it's just the form of the body. Because he really wants the chest to stand out strongly. The chest is the most important thing on his torso drawings. So let's try and muscle up my own version. Just like that, we got a foundation of what we want to do. Drawing like Jim Lee. So, if you guys really want to get a feel of another artist like Jim Lee and want to draw like him, you need to repeat those for about 3 million times. No, but seriously, the gesture drawings are the most important thing. That's for sure. And if you want to find your own style, don't just use one artist. Do gesture drawings of all the artists you like. And then you just go ahead and try and draw like David Finch because he's the best. Okay, so now we know how to draw the body. But Jim Lee is also really great with heads, so... Jim Lee's heads are very jagged. And the fact that he uses strong blacks quite seldom, but instead darkens his shadowed areas with a lot of lines, benefits his faces the most. Cause it's easier to deliver emotions when the faces are not full with strong blacks all the time. And with all the drawings in Jim Lee's style, keep it very loose, not too tight. And here you can see some facial studies. As I told you before, very jagged 
and especially in those two you can see how thick his necks are. That's a very important trademark for Jim Lee. And just like that we covered most of the basics. And another thing that's very important when wanting to draw like Jim Lee is to learn how he is shading things. I mentioned before, he's barely using really strong blacks. He does most of his shadings with just lines. But to show you that, I will do a decent drawing now. So, let's get a piece of paper. Let's draw! Okay guys, first of all, since you saw me do the first sketch, that was in the morning. Now it's like the middle of the night again. I did a bunch of tattoos and I watched two episodes of Mandalorian with the kids. Very cool by the way, but I really messed up. Look at that. I'll show you properly. The upper body is way too short. It should be three heads till the crotch. One, two, three. Oh my god! I need to erase the whole upper body. That's too bad. But hey, I told you before, I will do a decent drawing. So, let's erase! Always a bad thing when you have to work when you're tired. I just thought this line has to be so long to match up with this one and first of all it needs to be longer but what I just realized is I had this one drawn here but this line is wrong so just always make sure to have the right starting point because this line must be here and then it's a whole different thing you know because now I can come up further with this one so this line will almost match this one. Oh man, I tell you guys, it's so hard when you work so much. But I guess that's what makes the difference. If you still make it through those times, you will be able to conquer the world, drawing-wise. Okay, that's all I wanted to say actually. Let's go! Done with the pencil sketch. That was quite the disaster with the upper body, but I guess I fixed it good enough. But anyway, it's way too late. I need to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully well rested, in the morning. Day two. Sleeping? Done! Breakfast? Done! Drawing? Not done! So, let's ink! So I guess I will also try to use lots of very interesting line weight like this and not too much strong blacks but still some areas will be strong black but lots of hatching and cross hatching. So let's go! That's a quite interesting style. First of all, it's very loose, and second of all, at, at some points there's just line weight. You don't know, you you wouldn't know why it is there, but it looks good. It's not really playing with the line weight rules overall. Only at some points, but like I said, I think it looks pretty cool. And when you're trying to work in a style you're not too familiar with, always make sure to start at a point where it's not so important. In this case, the feet, because when you start with the head and you're not into it yet, then you might mess up one of the most important things because when you look at the character you first see the head and the eyes so just think about that but now let's do some line weight
my friends, I did the line work and spotted the strong blacks. I was very careful not to overdo them. And now it's going to be very interesting because now we will hatch this thing. And Jim Lee hatches quite differently from what I do normal, so this will be a challenge. As you can see here, he usually does a million lines in his drawings. But at the same time, he doesn't care too much about the dynamic of the lines. Which means they are not going from thick to thin too much, but are mostly just straight lines. So, I guess I will not use my Tombow pen for those lines, but use a Micron. I can still create some dynamic with those, because you can also press harder and the line will be thicker and go thinner when you lose the pressure. But not as much as I would do normally. Which means that will be quite interesting. But before we proceed I want to show you something. I have this print here from Jim Lee. Number 14 of 999 and it's even signed. Pretty cool! I got this with the book I bought. Okay, but now let's hatch! Oh yeah! I will use a 0 0.2 and U1 even, so it's quite juicy. And like before, I will start with the feet, so if I mess up, at least it's the, just the feet then. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, what I just realized, when you do those hatching lines, you shouldn't do them like this, like I normally would. You should go ahead and do this. You know what I mean? Not just fading it out, but do the whole line. Like this. There might be a dot at the end, but that's a bit of a Jim Lee style. And you can see right there, I didn't do quite good with, with those and then I changed to the ones where I did the line through like that and it looks way more like Jim Lee does it. And I'm done guys. Had to use this one a bit more than expected, but sometimes that's just the way it is. It really was fun drawing in Jim Lee's style, but also very exhausting because to draw in another style you always have to check how would he do it and then you do something like you are used to do it and then you figure oh that's actually not the way it's supposed to be done because it's supposed to be done like Jim Lee. You know what I mean. But I'm done now and I'm sure I could take something with me. And best of all, if you guys want to draw like Jim Lee, you can do it as well now. And what I would like to know from you guys, how do you like those hatching techniques? Do you prefer the lighter shades or do you prefer the hard, strong blacks like I do them usually? Please let me know down in the comments. But now I will give you a proper reveal. But first make sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my amazing videos. See you in the next one guys. Bye!